Number 10 from this new higher specimen paper 1, we've got rate of change of, and you've got a trigonometrical expression, which actually is a function of a function, and you've also to evaluate it, but all just for three marks. I think this question is a little bit harsh in what you have to do for those three marks. Well, the first thing be, I want to differentiate that, but first of all, I think I'll emphasise the fact that this is a function of a function by putting in the bracket. Whenever you've got a function of a function, there should be something operating on something, like the question of function of a function, so you can quite clearly see what the function is and what it's acting on. So now that I've done that, I can differentiate it. You could have done it from there straight away. So that's multiplied by the power. So 3 fours are 12. Take 1 off the power, so it drops to 2. Now look inside at the function that was inside. It wasn't just an x, it was a sine x. So also multiplied by its derivative, the derivative of sine x is cos x. Then you can either just leave it like that because you're going to evaluate it, or I could just maybe tidy it up to 12 sine squared x cos x. Now, this is worth the two marks. The first part was for the 3 times the 4, was for this part here, if you like, and the second mark was for remembering to multiply by the inner derivative. So that just leaves one mark for the evaluation. That seems a bit harsh. Because what's the value of it at this? Well, that'll be 12 times. I'll put the brackets back in now. The sine of 5 pi upon 6 squared times the cosine of 5 pi upon 6. And the problem with that is, that's an obtuse angle. So the first thing I'll have to do is figure out whatever the acute angle is. Pi is here. 5 pi upon 6 means 5 sixths of the way which means you're left with pi upon 6. And the other thing I need to know is, will sines and cosines be positive or negative? All sine, tan, cos. So the first step is, actually find out what angle I'm operating on. That will be, well, the sine's positive here, so that can just stay as the sine of pi upon 6. But the cosine's negative, so it'll be the negative of the cosine of pi upon 6. Now I'll need to get them, unless you can remember them. Pi upon 6 remembers the 30. If you're not sure, put the little triangle down again. The 1, 2, root 3 triangle. Remember that goes 60 for the big and 30 for the small. But 30 is, of course, pi upon 6. So the sine of pi upon 6 is the opposite, the side without the angle. That's a half. So I've got 12 times, and that will be positive a half. Maybe I'll just emphasise that. Squared. Times... The cosine is the adjacent side, that's root 3 upon 2, but it's negative. This is all just for one mark. A half squared is a quarter. 4 into 12 goes 3, so it's 3 times that, so it's negative 3 times root 3 upon 2. Yeah, all of that was for just one mark.